Greetings, Father Joe here, your friendly neighborhood pastor, coming to you from St. Patrick's Church in lovely Highland Mills, New York. Today is Monday of the sixth week of Ordinary Time, and in our first reading, we are with the Israelites as they are fleeing Egypt, and the Pharaoh and his forces come after them, and, and the people, they're afraid, and and so they want Moses to just leave them, let them go back and be slaves in Egypt because, well, because they're afraid, but also because it seems better to be a slave than to die. And if that is not uh, typical of our society, uh, it, it seems that the only evil right now is suffering that clearly if someone is suffering, that this is a, a horrible evil that must be uh, avoided. And yet as, as Christians, we know that we are united with Jesus in his suffering on the cross. And so human suffering, uh, and I'm not talking about meaningless suffering for animals or something, but human suffering can be redemptive. Uh, but first, we have to make sure that we do not lose control, that, that we are not um, governed by it. And so Moses says to the Israelites, he says, fear not, stand your ground. This is a, a little bit like in the Second World War, the British would say, uh, stay calm and carry on. Uh, Moses tells the people, fear not, stand your ground. When we have suffering in our life, when we are tempted uh, to fall back into sin or to go back into habits of sin, we need to hear this, fear not, stand your ground. And you will see the victory the Lord will win for you today. Um, the Lord himself will fight for you. I, I think sometimes we, we get the idea that we need some kind of an earthly program so that we can win the, the battle and then go to God with it. That's not the biblical uh, plan or image. God wins the, uh, the battle for us. We need to stand our ground. We need to remain firm with the Lord. So we don't save ourselves. He does. But he won't do it unless we cooperate with him. Or he wants us, better to say, he wants us to share in the victory. He wants us to reign with him in heaven. And so he wants us to cooperate with him. Uh, amen.